Okay, this is a 2013 Honda CRV all wheel drive, and I'm replacing the rear rotors and brakes, and the wheels are not coming off. So, what I've done is I've jacked the car up, I've got two jacks, took the nuts off, and I took off this axle nut as well using a one and a quarter inch socket and a huge breaker bar. Um, I tried to take this off last week, it didn't work, so I sprayed it uh, around this connection here with some PB blaster. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that sledgehammer and I'm going to hit it on the inside tire from underneath. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so the tire is off the ground, the emergency brake's off. I'm doing this one wheel at a time, just so the whole car doesn't fall on me if I hit it too hard. And let's see if I can prop this phone up to record it properly. All right, here we go. We're gonna take this hammer. Don't try, don't hit the rim. Might be an awkward angle, but I'm gonna try to hit it right here. Awesome. Came right off. get the rotor off, uh, I had to drill out four screws, uh, just using a drill like that. And then the rotor was still stuck on these uh, bolts, so what I had to do is hitting it from this direction didn't work, so using my sledge and you hit it this direction and finally loosened up, uh, so hit it from both direct directions. Okay, with the rotor off, I cleaned up everything with a wire brush and uh, used some brake cleaner and then I uh, threw some anti-seize on here so that the new rotor that I put on uh, will come off easier next time. So with the new rotor on and the new brake pads on, uh, I applied a coat of anti-seize on the face of the rotor and now I can put the wheel on and it will come off easier next time. And the last thing I'm going to do is I, I'm just putting a, a very thin layer of anti-seize on the inside of this uh, wheel here so that uh, it doesn't connect and freeze to the rotor.